Hello everyone and welcome to this little backstage DNAD uh, conversation this morning or afternoon or evening or wherever you're at. We're actually going to start with just a short little video just to get the mood going about one of the programs that I'm incredibly happy about the DNAD got, which is uh, the Future Impact uh, program. And then I will be back very soon again. So let's just jump into this little um, amazing uh, video. Beginning life in 2011 as the white pencil, DNED Impact has evolved to become more than an award. The Impact program is so important because it represents the spirit of the creative industries. The Impact program really allows you to turn ideas into reality, really gives you the guidelines, the structure to support, how to promote, how to make awareness about the problems you want to solve. The IMPACT program is for anyone shortlisted in our future IMPACT category. This is a place in which you can either have figured it out, put it out there and want to get recognized for it, it's also a place to be able to bring something that needs incubation and that you think is you think is strong. It's really for those early stage initiatives and ideas that have the potential to change the world. So the benefits are that you get to be part of a community of people doing fantastic work. If you can think of it like us being a greenhouse where we take the seed of your idea and give it the best conditions to thrive, then you should definitely enter the Impact Awards. So I think it's really important for schemes like the Impact Accelerator Program to exist because it really helps people who are more ideas people to grow into more business-minded people. The young entrepreneurs and everybody in that uh, program, they're the ones that are the answer. They're going to see us hopefully uh, rise like a phoenix from the ashes. Future Impact Award is huge. I think it takes hopefully some of the pressure off to, to just jump in and try. To be able to be any kind of help or partnership in that process is um, just an incredible privilege. It's really inclusive. You know, we're not talking about the NAD awards being given to countries in Europe and the US. You know, like there were really people from all over the world. It was certainly very difficult to pick the winners because there were so many wonderful solutions. And that in itself is motivating and inspiring because you know that there are people in this world who care. I think the Impact Fund is a brilliant opportunity which gives um, the entrepreneurs a lump sum of money in order to further the project and develop it into a more commercial or practical application. We don't care where these ideas are located, how big or small they are. It's actually the impact and whether it can have scale in the long term. That's what we seek to support those emerging ideas and concepts that are so small, but then have the potential to be something so large and significant. It's what is at the heart of the creative process. We can all have great ideas. We can think, we can strategize, we can dream, but if it doesn't land, if it doesn't rain on the earth, it just remains as a cloud. So it needs impact. Great, so um, that was a little introduction about the TNAD Impact Program and welcome to this uh, TNAD Impact um, behind the scene. And obviously this is a super interactive session. This is your opportunity to ask the questions that is on your mind in terms of how do you actually create creativity that creates an impact, but also how do you actually go about uh, winning an award like the D and A D? And obviously, this can be applicable across awards. This year, obviously, I was uh, extremely happy um, to be uh, the D and A D uh, president, which is a tremendous uh, honor, and 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 so pleased. And being the D and D president is is sort of kind of being like a football coach in the sense that you have to help. Uh, scrutinize, you have to help uh, steer the conversations and obviously what is so incredibly um, 
great about impact is the, the diversity of the judges in terms of regions where they're coming from, experiences, et cetera, which really sets this uh, jury apart. Secondly, uh, there's a lot of uh, work in, and, and a lot of responsibility being in the DNA impact jury uh, compared to a lot of the other advertising juries in the sense that we really sort of have to scrutinize uh, the work, uh, meticulously to sort of uh, find out what is the true impact, what is the true change behind the DNA impact, which is, of course, celebrating uh, great uh, creativity uh, that makes a difference. So as I said, this is an interactive session. This is your uh, possibility to ask uh, questions about the DNA Awards and about how to create impactful creativity. But I'm also today uh, going to share, obviously, some of the creative work, uh, some of the hacks, uh, some of the insights behind. Sorry for those of you who are tuning in on Instagram. Uh, you will have to go to other LinkedIn and YouTube table uh, to see uh, the presentation and, and some of the work there. So be patient, um, unfortunately. Um, but again, uh, do ask questions um, and, and, and we'll make this uh, as um, um, interactive as possible. I think one of the things that I did notice this year was really that thankfully there was a lot of uh, work uh, from across the world, a lot of work with uh, great cultural insights. It was so uh, great to see. And obviously, uh, thanks to DNAD, they also open up uh, for free submissions from Ukraine. And I was happy to see a piece of work, uh, actually two pieces of work, uh, to make it uh, to the D uh, and AD uh, winners list. So that was great. Also, one thing that um, uh, was, was good to see was actually uh, diversity of issues. There has obviously been, from years to years, a uh, focus on specific uh, things like diversity. Uh, we did uh, still lack, I believe, uh, more work uh, tackling climate change. And then obviously uh, a new thing in DNAD this year was uh, we had uh, upstream innovation as a new category really to sort of look at uh, circularity and taking that uh, really seriously. I'm going to come back to that with some of the winners there. And there was a big pivot, I think, this year away from sort of the traditional sort of advertising campaign-like ideas to much more design and solution-based ideas. Uh, you'll see that Waterlight, uh, the Killer Pack, and, and, and some other, you know, um, white pencil winners. But again, uh, ask uh, your questions and, and, and I'll just uh, share. I'm sorry for you on Instagram because you won't be able to see this uh, on Instagram. But uh, I will uh, just uh, share quickly a, a, a little uh, deck here again. Uh, focusing on on some of the winning work, so uh, so we can um, uh, so we can see a bit of that uh, amazing uh, winning work here today. So um, great, um, we are just flying a little bit here on Instagram, but uh, trying to handle a lot of channels at the same time. That is uh, what happens here. Good. So. Um, so obviously, uh, 42 uh, winners in the DNAD Impact uh, Award, uh, a lot of interesting stuff. Uh, uh, as I said, very much focused on, on, on sort of solution-based things. But there were sort of more advertising media-like ideas, like Shutter ads uh, from Heideken, basically taking the shutters on bars and turning that into a, a media during the pandemic uh, for the bars. Uh, to uh, make some uh, money and obviously there were um, um, uh, a couple of uh, sort of more uh, climate environment focused ideas uh, like the plastic quiz ideas like don't choose extinction etc but I'm going to come back to a lot of the takeaways uh, from all of this but I want to show uh, two of the highest accolated pieces of work uh, obviously uh, winning um, uh, the white pencil and and um, let's let's begin uh, with uh, the first one, which is a collaborative project uh, from uh, Dole and Anna Zanam uh, called Pinatex. And let's begin with that uh, case video. And again, for you on Instagram, you won't be able um, to see uh, that. Uh, I'll see if I can turn the camera on. Maybe you'll get a bit of feeling of it. But let's uh, let's go. I'll see if I can turn that stuff around in the meantime.
Every year, over 2.5 million tons of pineapples are grown in the Philippines. While the fruit is packaged to feed people all over the world, pineapple leaves are left behind. For every ton of pineapples harvested, three tons of leaves are wasted, and when left to rot could create methane emissions over 20 times more harmful than CO2. To make a change, Dole, one of the largest producers of pineapples in the world, partnered with Ananasanam to produce Pinatex, a vegan, cruelty-free, and sustainable leather alternative made from the fiber of pineapple leaves that would otherwise go to waste. If we compare Pinatex with leather, Pinatex has a much better environmental credentials. It doesn't use any water, any land, any fertilizers. While other vegan alternatives are plastic-based and ecologically toxic, Pinatex is a sustainably sourced textile with a closed-loop production. After the rescued pineapple leaves become Pinatex, the residual leaf biomass is converted into natural fertilizer providing a truly eco-friendly option for the fashion industry. Over 200 brands in more than 80 countries are now using Pinatex to become more sustainable, including Hugo Boss, H&M, and Nike, who use Pinatex to create their Happy Pineapple sneakers. The Dole Ananas Anam partnership through Pinatex is the perfect way for us to breathe second life into our waste. This is the first step in our journey towards circularity, whilst helping farmers turn waste into an income opportunity. Pinatex is part of Dole's ongoing efforts to achieve zero waste from its farms by 2025. By upcycling waste, we are creating change beyond the food industry, giving fashion brands a true green answer to leather. Great, so that was uh, one of... Uh... Uh, of um, of uh, the um, uh, award, um, and obviously, I think there's a there's a couple of key takeaways uh, from this uh, piece of work. I think for the most time, we in the industry is so uh, unfortunately short term focused. Uh, we get a brief; it almost feels like we're doing like a sausage factory. You know, incomes a brief for sausage. If we're really like sort of uh, creative, we come up with like a vegan sauce or something like this. This really demands a lot of collaboration and a lot of guts. And I think one of the key things that we need to do is work much closer together with uh, our clients to get a lot of this off the ground. And obviously, uh, so interesting also to see the amount of brands obviously joining um, an initiative uh, like this. And always there's, again, as I said, uh, DNA D upstream innovation was a new category. So really, really good uh, to see <clears throat> one of the winners uh, there. And obviously, uh, the impact that it has uh, on the grounds uh, in uh, the Philippines. So uh, quite an interesting piece of work. So um, from the Philippines, we're going to go all the way to um, India and, and actually looking at probably one of the things that uh, have been left a little bit unnoticed, uh, which is uh, obviously uh, the danger of uh, uh, mosquitoes uh, is still a uh, massive uh, killer across the world. So, so happy uh, to see the second piece of work actually uh, trying to tackle um, tackle that in, in a very clever, subtle uh, uh, way that's focused on behavior change. And I'm, I'm a really a big believer in uh, what um, behavior change can do. And again, do ask your questions. This is sort of the DNA D behind the scenes where you can learn how to hack uh, and how to uh, hack the awards, how to uh, do uh, better impact uh, creative work. So do ask your questions and we'll very, very soon uh, get to those. But I want to show you the, this, uh, the other uh, piece of work that was two white pencil in the highest accolade uh, in this uh, piece of work. Uh, so I'm going to share the second uh, case with you here. And for those of you on Instagram, you will kind of get the backstage feeling because... Um, Obviously, um, uh, I, it, it, it will be a, a photo of my screen. But anyways, let's, let's jump into this and, and see if we can get this uh, going again uh, between uh, two platforms here. So let's go. Bam, there we are for the... Perfect. And we do the same on Instagram. And let's go. 
In 2021, the WHO estimated 400 million dengue cases in India per year. The number of cases have increased over 30-fold in the last five decades. While Indians use mosquito repelling coils inside the house, the real problem lies outside. Garbage collection points in India are breeding grounds for mosquitoes because all they need is just one centimeter of water to lay their eggs. While we can't change the garbage situation in India, we can stop mosquitoes from breeding in them. Introducing the Killer Pack. A pack when disposed kills mosquito lava outside the house, while the non-toxic coil fights mosquitoes inside, breaking the vicious cycle. The 100% biodegradable packaging is lined and printed with 5% active probiotic bacillus thuringiensis that acts against mosquito lava. This pack disintegrates into water and moist environments when disposed in places like garbage dumps, dustbins, garden ponds, stagnant water, and stormwater drains. This train is approved and recommended by the WHO, the CDC, the ICMR, and the EPA. While causing no harm to birds, dogs, or any other species. We launched this packaging in the hot pockets of India where major mosquito-related diseases were on the rise. Chitla vadu matcharo, tetla vadu pramanma, killer techno upyog thashe, ane teno nikal karwa maushe. Khare khar mara mat mujab, aay khubad sehli, ane swayam sanchalit prakriya chhe. The killer pack kills mosquitoes inside and out. Great. So another uh, piece of uh, out, outstanding work and really tackling an issue that's um, really an issue in the in the global south and and and, uh, and and really interesting to see how you take in fact a behavior that's usually seen as bad throwing garbage on the street or even if it is in the garbage can turning that into something that's fighting um, um, uh, malaria and other uh, malaria related uh, diseases and, and we are having some uh, questions coming in so let's do a bit of a Q&A here to get things going and then uh, in the wrap I'm, I'm going to share a few hacks uh, for you to think about when you do this creative uh, piece of uh, work um, and I can see there's one from OC Packaging I'm going to get back to that soon um, on, on Instagram but, but uh, first of all we have one here, uh, so thank you for asking that. How do you come up uh, with impact ideas? Um, I think I, you know, I, I think you you've got to be incredibly curious. Uh, this is not about inventing stories. This is almost like being a detective on speed out there, looking at some of the solutions. And and I, I tend to use kind of two things. I think a lot of great ideas, especially in the innovation space, when we talk about future impact, comes from hate or love. Hate because you hate something so much you want to change it, um, or love uh, because you love some uh, something so much so uh, you want to protect it. And and sometimes those sort of feelings and putting that into the work and, and, and the curiosity around the work can really be a, a great way of um, coming up uh, with um, some of these things. Because by the end of the day, it is uh, for you to use your creativity uh, to find and tackle some of these solutions. So thank you uh, for asking that uh, question. So. Let's take a uh, second uh, question here. Um, uh, yes, um, and we have a question here. Can you speak about the categories? And, and for those of you who are not in the sort of award space, the, the categories are a way for the judges uh, um, to uh, zoom in on, on, um, on the work. So there can be categories like uh, design, uh, advertising, um, you know, long-lasting initiatives, et cetera, et cetera. And, and obviously it's crucial that you think about these categories and how that relates to the work. And especially this is important when you do your cases uh, in the sense that what is your argument for this is best in design or what is your argument for this is best in upstream innovation. And, you know, if we look at the Dole case as an example, I think they make a pretty clear case for why that is uh, really uh, worthwhile in the upstream innovation. So cate uh, categories are extremely important to have a look at uh, before you enter. And of it, obviously what you will see is that a lot of the work went across categories. So that's uh, obviously a possibility as well. 
So let's um, take a third question coming in here. So um, maybe to get, uh, uh, okay, so we have there from a um, young advertising student. Uh, so uh, as a young advertising student, what's in it for me? You know, what's so incredibly important is that not only can you excel at uh, doing your thing in the world, but you can obviously also further your career doing so as a young advertising student. And there are two talking about categories, there are two categories for emerging talent, both in future impact and in impact. So there's a lot of opportunities for young students and people who want to enter the advertising industry and are passionate about creating an impact. So there's a lot of opportunities for you there. So have a look at the emerging talent categories. Start thinking about some of this stuff right now because, you know, from a year, um, I, I, in about a year's time, it's time for you to enter the DNAD Awards. So uh, let's take our fourth question again. Uh, do feel free to ask questions. This is about DNAD, how you create um, impactful uh, work, and obviously also uh, how uh, you, by the end of the day, win uh, an award. DNAD is the toughest award uh, to win in the advertising industry. Very quickly, uh, some advice about making uh, great uh, case videos. Uh, so case videos are the ones that we just saw from uh, Dole and uh, Killer Pack. I think one of the things, first of all, don't state the obvious. I mean, I, I see too many videos that start explaining issues like climate change. I'm like, what, climate change? It's not like I've been living underneath a rock. Don't state the obvious. Use that time in the case video. Uh, really uh, uh, down to the second, because it's so important. And also think about how you use it as a storytelling tool. I know it's a case video, but make it a piece of the storytelling. Just because it deals with how to do good in the world, it doesn't need to be doom and gloom and like a serious male voice that talks about um, uh, the, the endangerment and endangered species and all that stuff. But think about how maybe you can add a little bit of humor and fun into it. And look at facts. Think about how you can really drive down, drive home the point about the impact that you're doing. And this is a crucial point. And lastly, maybe think about how you can uh, make the case for why this is a scalable idea, because this is obviously something we look at as uh, judges. So um, again, uh, do ask uh, your questions. Um, I'm so happy to um, uh, obviously uh, interact with all of you after the judging and, and we'll still uh, scream a couple of minutes and then I'll do a wrap up around the DNAD Future Impact Program because it's such an important program and something that I'm a very big believer in. So we've got a question in here. What sustainability trick do you use to always look so handsome? <laughs> uh, nothing uh, really uh, sustainability and impact uh, related there. Uh, hell, you know, get up in the morning, go in the shower. I think that's that's my that's my secret trick to apparently, obviously, uh, uh, looking uh, so so handsome. <laughs> thank you for that. Um, so uh, we have another question here, and thank you for asking that. Do you have to be completely sustainable to enter an award like this? My product is not plastic free. Uh, very good question. I, no, uh, you don't. Uh, I mean, we are all on a, you know, on a journey towards uh, living more sustainable, to creating more sustainable products. And it's a journey. And I think that this is something that we recognize as a jury. So I think as long as your product um, also is, comes up with a, an interesting uh, innovation, then that's more than fine. I mean, um, you can't solve everything at once. So maybe if you have a product that's not plastic free, maybe uh, you create impact in so many other ways. I mean, one of the winners uh, in the Future Impact Awards is called the Neo Cloud. I'm going to share a little bit about it, but, but they actually found a way of creating running shoes out of just one uh, singular material, the caster bean. Uh, so a very, very clever way of, of thinking already in the design phase about how you can create uh, circularity. Um, so yes, so let's see if we have uh, more questions here and else I'm soon going to do a wrap up and obviously you're also welcome to email the right questions and, and I can uh, answer those after uh, Woods as well. There was obviously the one from I saw O set uh, packaging, uh, so uh, which was about I think the collaboration between um, uh, the client and agency was the question it was really in relation to 
the dole uh, piece of work. Uh, so obviously, uh, as a jury, we can and, and we do uh, very often uh, ask uh, questions to the teams behind these pieces of work. We email them, we call them, we want to scrutinize it to make sure that the winners that win are the right ones, that are the ones that deliver the greatest piece of impact across a lot of these uh, really, really important categories. Um, I think what what uh, what that piece of work, and again, uh, do take this with a uh, grain of salt. I'm I'm not uh, obviously um, um, part of of the work, but but uh, how we understood it in the jury was that this was an initiative that was uh, done together with Ananas Anam and Dole in terms of thinking about how you can take those pineapple leaves and create um, employment in uh, the Philippines and create a collection out of that. So that's sort of how. It started, and then I think the agency has come on board, uh, delivering uh, obviously um, exciting uh, storytelling around that. So uh, at least that is my uh, understanding of uh, that. But but I'd be happy to look uh, more into it. Anyways, before we wrap up, and again, as I said, you know, if you have any other questions, do feel free to answer them. I just want to talk shortly about the future impact program. So D and A D Impact have uh, two awards. DNAD Impact Awards, which I just shared the two uh, biggest uh, winners, uh, the white pencils. Um, but they also have what's called the DNAD uh, Future Impact Award. And this is a piece uh, of the award show that I'm extremely passionate about because it really do celebrate early stage ideas. So ideas with the potential uh, to create change. And this is for all of you who are watching on Instagram or LinkedIn or whatever, whoever who got an idea, you're more than welcome to enter. And what's so amazing about this is that the winners, even the shortlist, get the ability to be part of the Impact Accelerator program, where there's a council of some of the best uh, creative uh, thinkers and impact makers from across the world who will help nurture your idea. You also stand the chance to win a 25,000 US dollars grant uh, to help you on that uh, journey. There's so much interesting work every year coming out of the Future Impact Award. So uh, something that I'm uh, really, really uh, passionate uh, about. Um, but uh, but um, the, the, the key thing here as well to remember is that, you know, we all have an opportunity to create change. And, and this is something, even if you're emerging talent, even if you're thinking about creating impactful work, this is your chance, and that's why I absolutely love the future impact work. And you can see a lot more about it at uh, dnad.org, uh, and you can see more about all the winners. This was just a very short introduction to, obviously, the DNAD Awards and what that stands for, and specifically uh, the Impact Awards, which celebrate a great creativity that does uh, change uh, the world. Um, so a very, very quick uh, wrap up here. Uh, I will say a, a few pieces of wise that, um, you know, don't just uh, waste your money by preaching to the converted. Uh, think about uh, the people who don't agree with you. Uh, there was a piece of work called The Lost Class around gun violence in the U.S., a massive issue, obviously, in uh, the U.S. And obviously, there are almost mass shootings happening every day. But again, I did feel The Lost Class was in so many aspects talking to the people who were already against um, guns. So think about how you can reach those people who are not agreeing with you. Maybe you're talking about climate, the people who live in the Midwest, the people who often live outside the cities who aren't sipping uh, vegan malt. The second thing I want to talk about is this is about sweat and tears. This is not just about clever ideas. To make these things happen and to make impact happen, it really demands a lot of work. Everybody can a, get a great idea, but it's really about... Uh, pulling through and making all of this happen. Uh, a third piece of wise I'll say is it's this is really about choosing the right spokesperson. Because if you want to reach people who aren't agreeing with you, maybe pick someone who they believe in, who they agree with, somebody who they are looking up to. So for example, again, sorry for using a Midwest thing here, but maybe it's about um, cho choosing a, a priest in the local church who uh, happen to believe in climate change and be use that spokesperson. 
Uh, fourth little thing I would say is this is really about collaborating much better between client and all the stakeholders. This is almost like getting married and really working together towards uh, creating that really important change. And lastly, this is about impact, impact, impact. So think about how you uh, can do this. Thank you so much for joining this a little behind the scenes DNAD impact uh, session. Uh, we will hopefully be doing a lot more of this uh, going forward. I know that we went a little bit over time. This was not supposed to be 30 minutes, but there's so much to talk about. And thank you for putting all those uh, questions through. Those of you who haven't uh, gotten your questions answered. Obviously, if you are more curious about the work uh, that I do and some of the stuff that I've uh, done over the years, a uh, good way to begin is obviously with my uh, latest book, uh, The Hero Trap, uh, or for that sake, Good Advertising, which will really give you some great insights into what it takes to create sustainable uh, leadership today and how to be successful uh, creating campaigns uh, uh, um, and, and uh, research and development um, that's uh, worthwhile and that's, uh, then, and that's not greenwashing. And lastly, obviously, we also do have a series of masterclasses and webinars uh, coming uh, the next half year uh, or so, so be um, um, ready to tune in. So thank you for those of you who uh, tune in on Instagram. So I'm going to shut, uh, shut you out right now. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you have a, a wonderful uh, summer and I'll, I'll just see if, uh, how I can how I can get this uh, little thing off. You know how can I still be such a not uh, pro on this? Uh, but we will. Uh, great seeing you all. And um, for those of you who are tuned in uh, on all the other channels, such a pleasure. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask. And thank you so much. And you can see much more about DNA Impact at dnad.org. Thank you so much, uh, everyone.